Well, by now, it's safe to assume that we've all heard claims of vaccine injuries. Documents, metal, medical professionals, they've warned us about the health risks from these COVID-19 shots. And of course, there are different opinions on whether or not the shots are safe or more dangerous than the virus. You know, take your, take your side. One of my colleagues, Cindy Druk here, has been looking into this issue, though. She's the host of The Nation Speaks, and on NTD, of course. And she just released a new documentary, which you can all watch tonight, in fact, on Epoch TV. It's called The Unseen Crisis, Vaccine Stories You Were Never Told. We have Cindy Druk here with us right now to tell us more. Hey, Cindy, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Josh. Now, Cindy, we've all heard about the rumors of vaccine injuries, I think most of us by now, about COVID-19. A lot of people claim it's real. A lot of people claim there's no proof. What did you find researching this? <laughs> I found that if you talk to the people who are suffering from vaccine injury, it's very, very real. And there's nothing rumor about them. And actually, that's one of the reasons why I made the film, because I had interviewed some people who suffered from the vaccine, you know, throughout this time. And I wanted to, I thought that the best way for people to really appreciate that this is real and this really affects people's lives and how it turns people's lives upside down, I needed to actually go to their homes and see, you know, what is life like? It's one thing, you know, seeing a talking head in an interview, but it's really another seeing, you know, a mom of three in a wheelchair with a feeding tube, you know, a 12 year old girl she's now 14 is also in a wheelchair with a feeding tube she was in the trials and this happened to her you, a dad whose you know son 16 year old son died of myocarditis single dad devoted dad and it's just it's devastating people's lives so you know anyone who thinks it's a rumor um doesn't know the extent to which the information about it is suppressed because a big part of the story too is that it's very hard for them to get their stories out well, and on that note, too, first of all, what kind of vaccines were they taking? Do we know this with the COVID-19 ones? And two, can you prove it was caused by that? What did you find? So all of them I have, or at least uh, people in the film took AstraZeneca. Um, one woman was in the trial, Brie Justin for AstraZeneca, and then Moderna, Pfizer, and J&J. &J. Can you prove it? Well, here's the, the thing about it. Um, first of all, we, we know about myocarditis, you know, that one has already been admitted to, but about 80% of the um, of the reactions that people have, the severe reactions are neurological. So they have this constellation of symptoms and it's a very strange constellation of symptoms. There's like, you know, electricity shooting through their bodies. They have um, gastronomical issues with their stomach. They have, you know, screaming in their ears, all, all kinds of things like this that there's a, a distinct pattern of it. Um, and very often those will happen, you know, within minutes or hours or days of getting the shot. And, you know, uh, Dr. Pamela or Dr. Robert Malone is in the film and he says at one point, it's very hard on an individual case to prove necessarily it was a vaccine. Although, you know, if the only thing that changed in their life is three hours before they got the vaccine, it's a good candidate. But it's within the aggregate when you look at the pattern overall that you're like, okay, there's absolutely a distinctive pattern here. And he was saying that, you know, this is how they finally proves, prove the link between cancer and cigarette smoking. On an individual case, it's very hard to prove, but if you look at it in aggregate, then you can see it. Cindy, I know next week you're also gonna have a, a, a really the launch party. Tell us about that. So, right, it's online starting tonight, but next Thursday, uh, there's an online watch party. So from 7.30 to 9 p.m., you can watch and comment live. And then at 9 o'clock to 9.45 p.m., we have a, an all-star Q&A panel. So you can ask exactly these questions to our panel. We've got doctors Robert Malone, Paul Merrick, and then Brianne Dressen and Angela Wolbrecht, who are both uh, vaccine injured. I'll be there. It's going to be moderated by Yanya Kellick, who's the host of American Thought Leaders and the executive producer of the film as well. Right. Well, Cindy, awesome work doing this. I mean, it's stuff people want to know and I think need to know. Uh, always appreciate having you on. Thank you. Thank you, Josh.